Hello, my amazing family, friends, and lovely people. You are all welcome to Amazing Grandma's channel. If you are new here, you are welcome in the name of God. For the returning subscriber, I love you all. I thank you all for coming back again. Today, I am going to show you how I prepare my designer lumpy egusi. The five-star restaurant egusi you will ever see. So let's get started. Thank you. These are the ingredients I'm going to use. I have grounded egusi here. I have grounded the goosey. I have fresh mackerel fish, palm oil, cow skin, momo, chicken, goat meat, cow tail, starfish head, a wee, that is a dry catfish, gizzard, dry pepper. Enough crayfish, enough crayfish, dry brown, tomatoes, gizzard, and onions. Then I have pumpkin leaf, ugu, fresh ugu, and fresh bitter leaf that I'm going to use. So let's get started. Thank you. Uh, dry macre, oven. Dry mackerel and iru locust beans. I'm going to cook all the protein, all the meat together now because they all have the same texture to cook. So I added the goat meat, the chicken, the cow tail, and the gizzard all together to cook. for 30 minutes I decided to remove the stockfish head again so that the meat will cook at least 15 minutes then I'll add the stockfish head to it and the cow skin which is pomo I will add a beef stock, beef cube to it. Add thyme, add any seasoning of your choice. Use any type of meat, any type of protein you want to use. And cover it to cook for 30 minutes. 15 minutes you open the add the stockfish head and the and the cow skin then cover it again for to cook for another 15 minutes now i'm washing the bitter leaf i'm going to grind the Pepper, onions, tomato, the crayfish, the prawn, everything together now. I've added all of them in the blender, add a little water and blend the smooth. Remember, I'm using dry pepper. I'm not using fresh pepper. I'm using dry pepper. Now, I'm now missing the egusi. I added hot water to the egusi. Later, I added palm oil to the egusi and mix, and mix very well.
mix well and keep aside. Then I added palm oil to the pot that I'm going to use in cooking the soup. Then I add the chopped onion into it. Leave it to fry for three minutes. Then I added the blended uh, the blended pepper mixture to the pot. Add a little water to rinse and added it to the pot. Stir and cover for 10 minutes to steam for 10 minutes. I'll be right back. Okay, let's check now. I'm now scooping the egusi into the pot now. Scooping it bit by bit into the, the boiling soup. If you want it to form lumps, you scoop it like this, bit by bit. If you are washed up to this point, please like, give it a thumbs up, subscribe and share to your friends and family. Thank you. You scoop all until all is finished. Then you cover for it to simmer for five to seven minutes. Then you come back to check on it. Now the boiled meat, first of all, remove the fish so that it will not break. Uh, remove all the meat, separate all the meat from the stock of the meat because first of all we are going to use the stock first before the meat. Remove it and keep aside. And let's check on the on the egusi. Now stir, stir very well to avoid burning at the bottom. Keep an eye on it. Cover again for three minutes. Then check again, look at it. This designer lumpy egusi. Now I'm adding the meat stock to the pot. Stir. Stir very well to avoid burning at the bottom. So if you give it a chance, it will be bunny. Stay again. Add the wash dry fish, the bone dry fish to eat. Stay. Then I add the rest of the meat, rest of the protein to the soup. Then stir very well. 
it is too thick, you can add water. Leave the fish for later so that the fish will not destroy inside the soup. Test for salt and seasoning. Add boiling water if you feel it's too thick. Always add boiling water to your cooking food, cooking soup, so that you continue cooking. Check, stir, add the fish now, and careful when stirring now. So that it will not scatter inside the soup. Though we are still going to eat the fish, but we need to, it need not to scatter in the soup anyhow. I wash it before before I even bake it. So Add salt if necessary. Add seasoning if, if you like. I'm adding jumbo dry seasoning. One spoon. Now I'm adding bitter leaf, my washed bitter leaf to it, to the soup now. And stir and see if it is enough. If it is not enough, you can add more bitter leaf to it. Bitter leaf is very good to cook a goosey soup. Because there are some goosey, if you, if you did not cook it very well, it can be purging. So when you use bitter leaf, to cook it, it cannot purge you. Before you add any other vegetable like spinach or pumpkin leaf, bitter leaf is supposed to be number, uh, the first to add to a goosey. I'm adding my boiled fish to it now. Should be careful when stirring not to scatter it. Then I'm adding my pumpkin leaf, that is yugu leaf. You know, a good leaf is very, it's a hard leaf, so you cover it for two minutes to look at the outcome now. This is designer lumpy a goosey. Please, if you have watched up to this point, please subscribe, share, like, and give it a thumbs up. It's almost done now. It's almost done. Look at it. Designer Lopi Egusi. Thank you for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye.